It turns out, despite the game showing a check mark, there were still more curse multipliers. So, yeah, this is the highest curse that we'll play against now. And I don't think there's more possible because I've checked every little one. Welcome back to Soulstone Survivors. And today we want to play an electrical physical build. That weapon is so cool. Well, I didn't know it spawns that many um, uh, tornadoes. Look at that. But yeah, I have unlocked every single electrical physical skill that I could find. As you can see here, we are more likely to see them. And here are the additional ones, the additional four ones. That means we have a total of six. We might not even go for... Ooh, yeah, but you're magic. But oh, you're also physical. Direct damage caused by the skill is multiplied by three on critical strikes. Jesus! That may be better because I plan to go for the power conductor. But in all honesty... Yeah, sure, let's go for the lightning bolt then. Because that damage multiplication is kind of insane. The other ones that I'm using is Multicars. Then we have Divine Legacy again, because I think that's actually quite important here to get the legendaries in. Healing Flow, because we want to make sure that we actually survive. And Vulnerable Exploit. We apply a lot of Dazed and Disoriented. That is, by the way, the skill that we have seen the last time, and I was wondering all the time what is that. But yeah, with this we can deal up to 25% of bonus damage depending on the stacks on the enemies. More electrical skills. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All of them are here. Oh, look at this beauty. Who do I want to have first? I think I'll go for the Jupiter Spear. Strikes in the target direction, creating multiple lightning chains that jump to nearby targets. Yes, yes, please. I have to make sure that I actually read them because some of the... Okay, that's not what I expected. I thought the chains would get created at a target location, but it just, like, randomly does it, which is insane. <laughs> you know, it's actually straight up insane. Huh? That's, that's literally chain lightning, but physical. Now I want to have the magical chain lightning, but it doesn't really fit here. Merciless, because we crit a lot. Oh, I want to have the Nimbus lightning, but it's sadly magical. So, it's time for the infantry. Uh, where are they? You get banished, I'll never ever take you. More armor could be nice, but I think I'll actually want to go for as much crit damage as possible. Where, where are the... Oh, there they are, look at this. I'm not sure if they're really worth it. Okay, the bosses are here. Let's see if this build can do anything against them. Now, in the beginning, it's very normal that you can't really deal with them at all, the slightest. So, I don't expect all too much out of this. What, how's it looking? You have a lot of day stacks and confused stacks over what the other ones were. Oh my god. Okay, I have pretty much everything here that I want. I kind of want to go for the chromatic bolt. The reason is quite simple. There are these chains in the game now, right? That with one type, we can trigger other things. And that means, can't we just use the Chromatic Bolt, like, to get triggered all the time, but also to trigger other things? Because the Chromatic Bolt is pretty much every single thing in the game. Wait, that makes me think. Can't you just go six Chromatic Bolts, and they have all the types in the game, right? And then you constantly get the bonus triggers, like, you'll get all kinds of triggers, like Chaos triggers this, and then Electrical triggers this, and Slam triggers this, and whatever. Can't you just go for six of them, and they trigger each other almost endlessly? Can't, can't you do that? Hey, wouldn't that be insane? Now I want to try that out and see if that works. See, this is the bad thing about this game. <laughs> you, you play it and constantly stuff like this comes across you. Wait, do we have all of them already? Oh, that, that, that was fast. Yeah, there's Thundering Slash. Wait, but I wanted to go for the Chromatic Bolt. Um, maybe we'll try this independently in another video. But I just want to go for six of them and see if that works. But yeah, we should be able to get a bunch of triggers. And I wonder if a weapon can also trigger itself. But yeah, there's the skill chain. So electrical has a, ch a chance to cast swing. So it looks like I actually only have one swing. But that means you get cast a lot. I mean, sh sure, why not? That's kind of what I was hoping for with the chromatic bolt. And I'm pretty sure that would have worked. Maybe the chromatic bolt is an exception that you can't trigger the, that, you know, uh, light beam. No, we don't want that. Even though it's very good. Far away enemies take 54% bonus critical damage. That is insane because we're all about crits. I have to be careful though, I'm noticing uh, these enemies are no joke. We will not have armor this time, that means we'll die a lot faster, but we can experience an insane electrical build, and this is why we do this. Now I'm considering right now, oh my god, yes, I'm considering right now to get rid of the infantry again, because infantry is always, it's a double-edged sword. The good thing about them is the enemies target them so they don't annoy you. Yeah, but this is way better, right? Like, look at the thunderclap. No, that's way better than the infantry. And they are also partially magical. No magical is allowed in here. Goodbye. Yeah, so the enemies target them, which is nice. But at the same time, that also means you can't really calculate where the enemies are attacking to dodge for that. 
Oh my god. Okay, a legendary trigger for Thunderclap. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> that's, that's really not bad. Okay, we almost killed all of the, the bosses here. Okay, I, have, I need movement speed, man. I won't be able to get away from these. I think I'll roll. Yeah, perfect. Nice. See? You just gotta ask for it and you shall receive. Le legendary multi-strike. We are done, by the way. Uh, battle stands. Increase damage against nearby enemies. Don't care. Uh, let's go for area of effect on you. Um, oh. It's a little bit hard to move through this, but it's normal that in the beginning it's a little bit harder to do... Um, yeah, I will definitely lock all of these. Okay, that's... Um, I didn't realize how insane this is. Because now that we have three skills available, it means we'll get so many legendaries. To be honest, I shouldn't have locked all of them because I just wasted, in quotation mark, three of my locks just to get one more. Well, I wasted two pretty much to get one more. Okay, that wasn't worth it. What I have to do is I have to select two of them. Yeah, good, good, good. That, that sounds like a good strategy. Yeah, now we're dealing a lot more damage. Look at this legendary bonus. Isn't this insane? We just wiped them out. And look at the, uh, the amount of enemies dying. No matter where they are, they just get destroyed. Ooh, careful there. Yeah, damage numbers are turned off. I don't think we ever want to use them again. Even though it's nice, the best implication of our damage is you just look at the enemies, you know, how fast they die in amounts, how fast the bosses die. We don't need more. Let's see, is there a bunch of experience around? A little bit? Oh, I want to get rid of you. We don't want to buff up the... Oh. No, I think we'll always be guaranteed to crit. Sure, sure. You you can attack faster. Now, form is a buff that... What does it do? Increases critical damage chance by 1%, but on the character. Most of the debuffs that we have, they work on the enemies, so they get applied to them, and then they have a higher chance to receive a critical strike. But we obviously have to make sure that also our character has that buff, because otherwise we don't crit when we start hitting them, and we already want to crit there. What is this middle one? Oh, that's just bonus damage, correct? Yeah. What is that electrical one, though? Electrified, that's it. Whenever you cast a skill, consume 20 stacks of electrified to release multiple shoals. Oh my god. <gasps> Multicast, nice. Okay, but that's that's cool. Especially because our electrical skills now trigger the thunderclap on a legendary level, I think it was. So, yeah, that, that that's quite good. That works well. Damage increase for all electrical skills. Nice. How are we doing, by the way, with the bosses? So far, I'm not convinced. It's definitely not strong right out of the gate. You, we have to buff that up. How do we buff them up? Just more... Just more damage, I think. We just care about crit damage, pretty much. They don't even have that many stacks of dazed, I'm noticing. Now there's a lot of stacks of confused. I literally turned to a thunder god and we on the very first stage. What is that confused one? I know I saw it earlier, distract that. Reduces the target's chance to hit by 1%. Oh, maybe we don't need armor. I shouldn't say that. Th that that's how you die in this game. Look, if you want to play optimally, you would go for spells that give you armor, like shield wall and stuff like that, because then it's almost impossible to die. Or it, it's at least way harder to die. But we don't care about optimal. We want to explore these different builds. You know how crazy they are, so... <laughs> let's see how far we can take this. Skill chain for swing... It sounds great, but at the same time, it's also just one particular skill. I'm not sure if I should focus on that, like to always take them. It's, well... It's pretty much like taking multicast, right? Damage increase for missile skills, I only have two of them. I'll, I'll take it. I think the magnet would have maybe been better. We only have like around 50 to 60 level ups left, we have to keep that in mind. So getting bonus experience is actually not bad. Twilight Harmony, you get banished. And I think I'll use some rolls here to get something better. Skill chain for slam again. I actually really like that slam, so I'll take that. And can I get something? Come on. Attack speed on you, sure why not. I would assume the devastating effect that triples its damage would catapult this one up to be one of the highest damage dealers unless the bouncing of the others just covers so much area that they are way stronger. But at the end of the stage, I'll check out the damage numbers that we know how we are doing. Ooh, I could really need more movement speed. Or, or a dash. A dash might also be the right thing. But I definitely need something because I'm way too slow. 
Multicast and all electrical. This is the thing that we want. This is why I like these one type builds. You just get something for everything and the value of that is incredible. If you math it out, that is pretty much 180% multicast that we just got with a single skill. Like this one here, if you math it out, it's 4 times 6 so only 24%. That is way worse. Uh, enemies far away, bonus crit chance. Don't even think that one is actually good. Because we get so many stacks on them that we are at max crit chance, which used to be 300%. I don't know if that has changed, but we'll just assume it's still the same. Oh, I never destroyed these turrets. That wasn't hard. Where are the other turrets? Let me find them. Here's one. Okay, that one was also very simple. What? Usually some of them are weaker because they spawned early and the rest is harder. Yeah, this one has a shield. That will take not a while. Not a while. Okay, this one is... Yeah, that one is the toughest one in there, <laughs> we still blew that away. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh, that was a close call. We have a high chance to block, so I'm not all too concerned if an enemy hits us, but obviously it still hurts. This dude is shooting lightning bolts at us, but I think our lightning is stronger. Oh, 20% crit chance, very nice. I wonder if you're already at the maximum to deal like the highest multi-crits. Then that would mean that I should never ever go for crit chance anymore. I actually don't know how this really works in this game. Like if your character has a maximum of 300% and if you apply days, this can go beyond that. Okay. I try to circle them to kill them fast. I still don't like that the, the guys can block my stuff. I, I don't think that's great. 24% <laughs> times 6. That's 144% multicast chance. Right, I I think I mapped it out right. 120 plus 24, yeah, 144%. On a single level up, 144% multicast. Just for reference, by the way, the highest multicast you can get in this game is 60% from Legendary. And we just got more than double of that. Just by a blue one. Oh, I, I need a Legendary of that. We are about to reach level 50. That means we get uh, three legendaries and one of them I lock. I'm still noticing we are not really applying a lot of stacks to these bosses. I think the problem is just that the arena is way too big. That my skills can't really focus on them. And once we get into the smaller arena, I think we'll have a very easy time to hit all of them. Let's go for a little bit of armor. I don't want to go too much on it, you know. But I only have two rerolls left and I would like to take that when we have only commons. Wait, where are these little balls coming from? Do you see them flying around? Who of you summons little balls? It's not him, it's a bolt. Trading multiple chains? No. Causing damage. Damage multiplies based on a crit damage chance? Okay. Session targets direction with electrical en energy. Causing damage based on the number of stacks? Ah, I think it's... No, I don't think so. I don't know where these little balls are coming from. Wherever they are coming from, they are more than welcome to be here. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. Do you enjoy being able to see so much? I definitely enjoy that. I actually really enjoy it. <laughs> it's like utter chaos. Okay, what is the most important? I think I'll actually spoiler myself and I'll check out the skill breakdown to know what deals the most damage. Lightning Discharge is by far the strongest one. What is Lightning Discharge? Cool. Something is the strongest one, I have no idea what it is. Jupiter Spear. The Thunderclap seems to be the strongest one, but this one also has the biggest upgrades. I think I'll just distribute it. But what what is the thing? Oh my god, I found a cheat code to figure it out. Look at the time active. These are the same, so it's a Tempestuous Slash. Who are you? Oh, it's this one here. No, that doesn't mean it's it, right? It looks like it's almost a passive ability. It must be something that was there from the very beginning of the game, like the spirits here. But whatever it is, I don't mind it. Let's lock one skill. You know what? Do I not want to lock any? Um, The reason why I say that is, if we get a, an electrical upgrade here at level 75, I definitely want to have that. And then we can do another one at 100. I think that makes more sense compared to just going for something that is like, yeah, kind of okay, you know. <laughs> yeah, bonus HP will be good. Electrical, that is this one, right? No, it's not that one because we only got that with this one. I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what it does, but it deals the most damage, so I'm happy with it. I need another dash so badly. I can barely out-dash the enemy attacks. And by barely, I mean I still get hit, but luckily we heal a lot. 
Do you have to collect the crystals that the ghosts despawn of the bosses? Possibly. This build is very slow though. But usually with pure damage builds they take quite a while to scale up. Some of them they just instantly kill the enemies and then they fall off. But I think this one over time may deal a lot of damage. I say may. You also exist for thrust? And you apply distracted so they have a chance to not hit? Yes please. That will help a lot. Let me try to actually get closer to a boss to focus them a little bit more and see if that works better. What happens if I collect your crystal? No, you're still there. Never mind, that didn't work. Okay, I'm close to you. That also means I lose a bunch of buffs that I had. No. It's consistent damage. And one thing it's very good at is keeping the, the, the screen clean. All of the other enemies, they just randomly die. <laughs> it's like, it's not even close. I think I could have needed a weapon that based on the stacks deals more damage. Wait, you actually have that, right? It's a thundering slash here, causing damage based on a number of stacks of dazed on the enemies. Okay, Behemoth, yeah, more health is good. More health is always good. So just for reference, we are now 13 minutes in when we killed the 12th boss. Not very fast, not very fast. Now the counter started. Oh, damage increase for all electricals. These are the things that we need. We need way more of that. That is very important. Now, how fast do we attack right now? 0 0.8, 2 0.5, 1 0.8, 0 0.1, 2.9. What I could really need here is attack frequency. I couldn't take the spell that I had the last time that gave us attack frequency because I needed to add other electrical skills. It's with this one that I got it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had this one, and I wouldn't have had this one, and I wouldn't have had this one here. Uh, not a skill chain. <laughs> Why do I have so many skill chains? Do you think a skill chain can trigger a skill chain? This is kind of important to know, because if that would be the case, you could go infinite with these, right? Like, just imagine we would have the arrow and we would get one of them to 100%, or two of them to 100%, then this would just keep going on, right? Actually, just one of them needs to be at 100%, correct? Because they have all the traits, and if we trigger, for example, electrical triggers, I don't know, slam, and they are also slam and electrical, both of them, then once the arrow gets triggered, it should trigger all the other arrows as well. And all the other arrows trigger all the other arrows, and all the other arrows trigger all the other arrows. That should be an infinite loop. Now, there must be a prevention for that, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> only one way to know. <laughs> you just try it out. Damage increase on the spear. Are you good? Oh, I would say you're good. I would say you're good. At least better than the other options. And I don't want to spend the rerolls there. Okay, this curse is no joke. Danger level 4. Why is it danger level 4? I've noticed... Oh, I just took a bunch of damage. It's fine. We kill so many enemies that we heal up quite quickly. We have life regeneration, but also every one it kills, we heal for 15, which I think is slightly reduced. Come on. Yeah, they're just... I just heal for 7. It's reduced by 50%. That's not slightly reduced. <laughs> that is a lot reduced. Okay. Multicast on all the missiles. These are the first two. Actually, the lightning bolt, I didn't check out its damage. I have to see that. Like, I would assume it deals very high damage, but maybe it just doesn't. Like, maybe it can't keep up. And you're also magic and missile. I could get rid of it because I don't really have upgrades for the lightning bolt, I think. Actually, it's level 20, looking at this. Oh, yeah, we just got the lasting upgrades. Well, the thing is, it still applies to this one, so nothing is lost. And if I get a better one, then I could just take that and we would never get the missile upgrades. Not the lasting one, sorry. Yeah, the missile upgrades, we would not get that anymore. Which are actually bad, because we only have two weapons for that. Multicast on all front. <laughs> I think I think I have to get rid of the bolt. I already know what I want to have. I want to have the chromatic bolt, just to check it out, that we get an idea if it's good or bad. But we have to read through it if it applies debuffs. If it still does that, because it used to apply random debuffs as far as I know, if it still does that, it's really good. If it doesn't do that, however, then I don't think I want to take it, because it unlocks a lot of traits that we don't want. Like, if any of these, like this one reads Missile, right? And the Chromatic Bolt will also be Missile. This one is, for example, Thrust. The chromatic Bolt will also be Thrust. And then it unlocks the upgrades for them, and that could be very bad. Oh my god, yes. 20% bonus cast frequency. I'm really hoping in the arena we are performing a lot better. Well, it's soon time to be there. Only four more. I'm actually wondering if they entirely removed the time limit or if it just was moved back like to 17 or 20 minutes. Because um, I think we'll be done at like 23, 25 minutes at best. So that would be sad if you couldn't continue. 
Oh wow, you're already here. And applying a random damage effect. Look at this, yeah. Okay, I... <laughs> one part of me kind of hates this one. But another part of me is saying, you know what? Let's just do it, let's try it out. Oh wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, how much damage is the bolt doing? How are you one of the lowest damage dealers that we have? Also, these ones really suck. I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, but sure, then it won't hurt to take that away. So, you're instantly level 21 because every single upgrade we have gotten applies to it. Now, the only question will be, will this be enough to do it for us? Does it get re-triggered all the time because it has every single type? Does it, it should also re-trigger the other ones, right? Oh my god. Now, the downside is if we get the re-trigger re ability, we will get that for any type. Like, we'll get something like, uh, I don't know, poison triggers projectile. And this is poison and this is projectile, which is a bit wasted, I think. I, I don't know how that works. Let's check that out, especially once we reach 75. Because it looks like they are mostly the legendaries. Now, debuffs, we have bleed, we have poison. Okay, not bad. We have doom, we have fire. You know what? I think that bolt was a good decision. Just have a bunch of debuffs here. I don't know if they'll be good. Um, okay, those with a lot of debuffs, they get kind of melted. I think this was the right decision. Good that we did that. Fateful strikes, all your attacks now apply doom? Wait, where are you coming from? Is it because you're chaos? Wait, that's kind of insane. Wait a second. Well, that's kind of... Wait, but no, chaos has nothing to do with that. Why do we have that now? That, that's actually really insane. So, Doom, the way it works is it puts stacks on the enemies, and I think over time, eventually, they deal damage to them. But if the damage would be enough to kill them, they just instantly pop and die. Like, look at this. You see this dude here? He will die with some remaining HP. Let's see if we can see it, because we don't have that many stacks, you know. And, and, oh, wait, this one here, this one, first one. <laughs> Come on, yes, did you see that? How it just immediately, yeah, there. Died at, like, 250k HP. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, wait. I really want to make a build now with six of those. Wait, 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 wait. We, we have to do that next video. Um, yeah, he just insta popped. Please tell me we can continue. Oh, that was it. Yeah, we were too late. But I think that just means we are ready for the next time to go for Chromatic Bolt six times. I hope you still enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.